very sexy. That's a joke. <laughs> Except he really is. He kind of looks like a cross between Eddie Vedder and Jesus. Have I heard of Jesus out there? You look like a cross between someone from Blink-182 and a midget. So. Oh, you all think that too? Because I've told him that for like a year and a half. I'm a horrible person. Here's why. Today, I was driving home before I drove back here. And I saw some kids playing tennis or something on the sidewalk. Either way, they were using tennis balls. Hello? Stop it, Leatherface. They were using... <laughs> Thank you. They were using tennis balls, and a couple of them rolled out into the street and just kind of sat there and looked at them sad. And I drove by, and my first thought wasn't, I should move so I don't drive over them. It was, if I drive over one of those and it pops, that's going to be the greatest freaking thing that has happened to me all month. <laughs> I, and I didn't. It didn't pop, because I missed it. It's not that nothing good has happened to me. It's that, like I said, I'm a terrible human being. People must think that because I went to a party once and there were cookies. This was fairly recently. And I said, I don't, I don't like nuts. I'm not allergic. But I was just like, hey, are there nuts in these? And she goes, be surprised. <laughs> I'm not allergic. But if I was, bitch. <laughs> I could die. That's not fun. Look at Jacob, he's red and swollen, but what a surprise, huh? Pass the Frito dip. If I get to heaven, that's the crappiest story of everybody. There's another guy like, yeah, I was uh, skiing down a mountain on a bear and uh, being attacked by Iranian ninjas. And then I got nuked from space by Godzilla. I just became Dane Cook for a moment. <laughs> And they're like, how about you, Jacob? And I'm like, uh, I was surprised by nuts. <laughs> kind of got the short end of the stick on that one. I was watching Animal Planet, speaking of surprises, and they were describing anim animals as he doesn't like to be surprised. Don't startle a bear, they don't like to be surprised. Well, duh. They live in the woods. In the woods, there are no positive surprises. There's never a situation where you go, eh. what's that noise? Oh, a cake! <laughs> you, you silly cake. I'm gonna eat you, because I'm a bear. Have you, remember that Tootsie Roll Pop ad that aired for like 30 years? With the, like, do you remember that little kid who was, his neck and his torso were one and the same? And he like, goes up to Mr. Turtle, he's like, Mr. Turtle, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? And Mr. Tortoise goes, mm, never made it without biting, ask Mr. Owl. And the kid, because he's an idiot, goes, hey, Mr. Owl, how to get to the center? And he's like, oh, let me see, one, two, three, three. That turtle freaking knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Mr. Owl, though he has a graduate hat, I doubt has ever been to any school. I think mean, he's either from a mental institution or he's just a wino. And Mr. Turtle sent him to sent the kid to Mr. Owl, hoping he would be shanked. I was saying I was gonna say shiv, but that's not a verb. And I like acorns because they're like nuts with berets. Those nuts are English majors. And they like Modest Mouse. <laughs> I like that, you know, like Peter Parker getting bitten by a radioactive spider that gives you superpowers as opposed to lymphoma, <laughs> which is far more likely. <laughs> but no one wants to read about Tumor Man! <laughs> Thank God you're here, Tumor Man! He can hurl his IV bags with deadly accuracy! I remember being a kid and being in class, elementary school, and you want to say, could I use the bathroom? And they'd say, okay. But no one ever specified what for. <laughs> so they could get away with, could I use the bathroom? But they're thinking, for murder? <laughs> I don't even know you guys. <laughs>